Love a video that starts on a strong piano chord. <laughs> Here comes yeah, the, that's the one. That's here, the piano chord. Here comes the box art, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. That's good. <clears throat> Rolled out the welcome wagon. Gotta say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. Bear learned Let's about uh, the Civil through. War from Texas approved uh, <laughs> textbooks. <laughs> so, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns please. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Jesse would have something to say about that. I know it. I just oh, know it. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> oh, uh, the biggest pipes of all. Yeah. So it's been a long time since we've been actually on the on the top plate, but yeah, it's time for big ass pipes. <laughs> Huge pipes. Look at all of them. Pipes the size of city blocks. Yeah. Basically, very similar shot from the original. Again, even the original had a pretty good sense of scale with this building. It's mm -hmm. fucking huge. But yeah, for his, you know, there have been certain parts of the game I'd point out where, like, you know, okay, weird, the textures don't load, or it's like the low poly, far far away models that never stream into the higher poly ones, but uh, from here on out, damn, everything looks really fucking good. <laughs> like... Security is looking pretty tight. It's so strange to be going down <laughs> so for once. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu-Tai. Can't be for Wu-Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. Yeah, it's from here on out, like, everything looks so damn good. There's a couple parts where it really felt like I was playing something that was meant for <laughs> next generation. Maybe it was. Maybe, yeah. Mm. The days of sitting smug in this glass tower are over. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're going to get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. Then why did you bring you three? Back, you know? <laughs> I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. Who in this game would you describe as smart? Wait a minute, let's mm. think about this. No one's particularly smart. There might be a couple <laughs> people I would say are resourceful. Everyone's well-meaning. Yeah, yeah, okay. I would also never describe anyone in the main party of Final Fantasy VII as stealthy. No, They might no. try, but you know how stealth is gonna go. I like that they, you can actually see some traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of funny how like there have been some issues with like, oh, here's really big cityscapes being rendered as, you know, just static image skyboxes, but oh, the textures are a little fuzzy sometimes. And then you get here and no, all of this is actually just <laughs> rendered 3D stuff. Like, <laughs> no, nothing here is, is pre-rendered. You see that pipe? You can go there. Oh, yeah. Big ass, bright ass lights. Don't look straight at the sun cloud. No, no. Or I guess the artificial moon? Mm. I, I don't think there's any materia that can fix that if you, you look for too long. He's going to prove you wrong. He's going to crush that into eye drops. <laughs> uh, 
since all the vending machines are almost definitely, absolutely, like, Shinra owned, I wonder if Shinra's been keeping track of their, uh, their movements just by seeing who's buying from vending machines that no one ever visits. Because <laughs> they're in sewers or parts of infrastructure that they've completely abandoned. <laughs> Heidegger has an alert out for anybody buying deadly dodge materia <laughs> at any vendor. Uh, <laughs> None of our basic grunts are cleared for that. Alright, for Cloud, we're going back to the Iron Blade. It's been a long time since we've used that. Something so I'm really... It's got a new galaxy. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Something I'm real curious about here. Also, we're getting Cloud, uh... We're increasing his magic. We're getting him trade off so that if he gets hurt, he gets his MP back. Mm -hmm. Or defense and all that. And as many slots as possible. <laughs> so, something that's been a bit of a tradition with, um... You know, since Tetsuya Nomura direct, like, co-directed this game, um... And there's a, a tradition he's had with all his main Kingdom Hearts games of like releasing another version or DLC later that adds extra stuff and all mm -hmm. that. Those games and decimal points and decimal Very points to add onto the decimal points. Yeah, it, it makes it everything real clear and definitely <laughs> know which game to play where. Uh, uh, also, more magic for Barrett Steel Pincers. I'm really curious if they're going to add new abilities or anything to integrate because with mm. every new version, like updated version of a main Kingdom Hearts, they've always done that. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not even stuff that's like, well, after you hit the post game, we've added more stuff to get. It's just like, no, if you play the game again, you will have a different experience because you get new abilities where you didn't before. I'm really curious if they're going to go that route or if it's just just the graphics and the, the story DLC. Also, we got a Whoa. cog bangle. Whoa, look at that thing! Look at it! That We got the most steampunk bracelet yet. Where would you even wear that? That thing looks dangerous! Imagine how bad that would be as, like, a neck choker. <laughs> Either way, the, the little spikies are pointing at you. Could, <laughs> something bad might happen. Uh, yeah, we're giving Cloud those tarot cards to make debuffs last longer on enemies. And that, that, that cog bangle uh, is another one of the bangles that's kind of like e like not the best at either defense stat, but pretty even in both. And it's got a good amount of slots on it, too. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pretty good. Cloud getting loaded up with magic. We're really close <laughs> to maxing out a lot of these, honestly. Yeah, a lot of status effect stuff because fighting Shinra soldiers, none of the, they're all incredibly susceptible to every single status effect. They never have protection <laughs> against that. They're just guys. They're just, just guys. Guys. Like the basic guys aren't even allowed to have magic. That sucks for them. <laughs> like you can't get anywhere in combat without magic, really. Going back to these big steel pincers, because I showed a little bit of this build before, but we're going even harder into it now. So Barrett needs a lot of ATB, and he's slow, so we're we're stacking up the the scarf that gives it gives him extra gauge at the start of battle with a max out first strike. This is using both HP absorbs, one of the enemy skill, which I've shown before, also on deadly dodge because. He's got that really goofy spinning deadly dodge move with his melee weapons that hits a lot and is really good yeah, yeah. To, to heal from. This is probably the build that has Barret flexing the most. <laughs> um, and it's also the build that has Barret sparkling the most. Ah, a very shiny man. Yeah, this is the... Barret flexes about six times in a row and then he's shiny for the rest of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really it's a very fun build maybe one of my favorite in the whole game he's also getting skill master because he's going to be flexing so many different ways by the time he's done flexing he has more atv gauge to use for more flexing <laughs> <laughs> it, it kicks ass and atv boost again just another way to get to more flexes
And really, like, the way this is set up right now, Barrett is the main guy who's going to be doing shit in these fights, and Tifa and Cloud are there just to kind of help him out <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so Tifa's really here just for the Moogle's amulet to get more item drops and to also drop down chi traps when necessary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because really, when you think about it, busting into Shinra HQ, this is Barrett's moment to shine. Yeah, yeah. He, he, Barrett is very, like, visibly thirsty for this. Mm -hmm. He just wants to go floor by floor and flip every desk over. <laughs> <laughs> to completely dismantle the system. He's throwing all these coffee machines out their big glass windows. <laughs> Yeah, but... take that cappuccino machine though. <laughs> well, yeah, he They're needs to... real good cappuccinos at Eighth Heaven. He, yeah, he, re... yeah, Eighth Heaven. He really needs to rebuild a new bar, and he's gonna do that by <laughs> uh, stealing all of Shinra's shit to build it. Mm -hmm. They got four different flavors of non dairy creamer coke. Come on, Cloud. Come on. <laughs> Not even just uh. Not even just the stuff, he's going to need to staff up, because this is going to be a bigger bar than the first, so he's just going <laughs> to take some of the employees with him, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ex-Shinra shift manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. waiting for the return of Shinra middle manager though. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I can't believe he didn't have like a side quest that in, in that last set. That's a Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Uh. feels 800 pounds heavier for some reason. <laughs> it got really slow all of a sudden. How's it looking out there? Don't look up, don't look up. <laughs> Anything? Straight. Nah. Straight. It looks straight out there. <laughs> okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> Stealth masters. <laughs> dead. Dead. They're both dead. <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> Give it all you got. I really wish the guy who got set on, like, was missing half of his health or something already. <laughs> <laughs> Or he started with a status effect. Yeah. Just start with the damage numbers uh, popping up in the cutscene when he gets sat on. <laughs> so Barrett's got... We got a new enemy skill from the arena earlier, Algid Aura. It puts a icy aura around Barrett here uh, that does constant ice elemental damage. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's hooked up to HP Absorb, so it's constantly draining health from guys. And... You know, it, it sounds like it's very similar to the, the Spirit Siphon thing, also a big AoE aura that sucks health from stuff, but uh, the Icy Aura is hitting stuff so fucking fast, it actually, when you have the HP absorption on Barret, heals more than the one that's meant to heal you. <laughs> Watch yourself. My turn. Hey, what's going on? But on the other hand, like, Marlene just got out of that phase where she wanted to watch Frozen twice a day, every day. <laughs> stealth ain't my style. You never planned to be stealthy in the first place. Don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. This is also a great place for Barrett's melee weapons to shine because uh, his beef move. The beef? The beef just utterly annihilates guys. Also, you can stack Spirit Siphon and Algid Aura on top of each other so you're like triple healing. <laughs> I just love that every fight starts with, uh, you know, Cloud and Tifa rushing in to do punching, mm -hmm. and, and Barrett's Let's like, guys, come on, Should be a let, let me get ready, like come on, come on, <laughs> yeah, come give on. me a second, I'll be there in a second. What's the situation? Can't get in contact with HQ. Flex this, make that shiny, okay, here I come, yeah. 
Like right here. The, the order of flexing is basically steel skin, ATV boost, lifesaver, <laughs> algid aura. <laughs> Four flexes in a row. <laughs> Algid Aura also hits stat uh, physics objects, so anytime he even gets like three feet by a, a cardboard box, it just goes flying. <laughs> I love it. Stealth, yeah, stealthy. Yeah. Even if Barrett wanted to take cover, he can't because everything goes flying. <laughs> that truck he rode in on is Barrett's cover. <laughs> The time materia is maxed out, so we also have the stop spell now, mm. which we can all we also have linked up to magnify. So, cast on both of these guys. Stop just freezes enemies completely in place nice. until the until it runs out. There is one thing you gotta you gotta watch out for, which I always forget about. I froze both of these guys while they are mid-attack animation, so the instant they unfreeze, they're still gonna hit me with those attacks. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta pay attention to that if you don't want to get hammered right <laughs> uh, out of nowhere. Like this. Kinda like that. Kinda like that. A fun thing to do, it can be hard to time out, but like, you know, Tifa uses a chi trap and now this soldier is getting juggled midair. Uh, if you cast stop on one of those dudes, they will be frozen midair even after the chi trap disappears. Uh huh. He's never in doubt. Yep, do your little dance to psych <laughs> yourself up. I love it. Barry just watched Thompson Shaw, and he's, he's really impressed by the scene with the haka, and so now that's just his thing. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Take the lead. This is a fight where I'm honestly, like, this entire beginning bit of, of fighting through the garage, uh, where I'm in tactical mode more than real-time mode. <laughs> because even though it's a lot of Shinner soldiers that are, you know, not super strong and, and easy to make flinch and all of that, there's just so many of them and so many dogs that, like, you really got to pause time a lot to go, like, who's doing what? Who do I need to mess up first? <laughs> You're triaging your your death, basically. Yeah. Your death dealing. Yep. And we all know how Barrett feels about dogs. Oh yeah. Keep it together. Let me handle this. Is it because of Stamp? You think? He hates all dogs now because of Stamp, or at least Shinra dogs. Yeah, these dogs can't be reclaimed. They're too far gone. <laughs> yeah. Watch yourself. Let's move, move, move! Not so fast. Yeah, this fight is the is pretty tough because it's three dudes that you can easily bounce off of if you're trying to do melee because of their shields. A whole heap of dogs, and also in the back there, two uh, third-class soldiers. <laughs> no in this fight especially because there's so many dogs, like, almost every time you go into tactical mode, it, like, figure out what to do, there's almost always at least one or two dogs jumping right at your face to bite you. Like, right here, <laughs> I pause. There's two dogs about to bite Clyde in the face. <laughs> Got it. Let's hustle. It's also like a fight where like, half the enemies are always <laughs> shooting laser sword abilities at you. Like, it's just, oh, <laughs> this is a chaotic fight. 
Just start doing a bunch of deadly dodges. You know, take yeah. out your frustration on uh, <laughs> the frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, even on the shield guys, Barrett's beef move works perfectly. Yeah, look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Barrett's the hero with this game. <laughs> yeah. We've got Algid Aura and Spirit Siphon going. Like, Barrett was at about a thousand health, like, ten seconds ago, and, like, if you... <laughs> if you rewind and just look at his health bar, gotcha. it just shoots from a thousand to almost full health <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> and this is with the HP Absorb not being leveled up at all. If it's maxed out, you're getting double the amount of heals from that. Everybody just chill out, okay? Please. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, both slow and stop are really useful for these fights, because he can just make, like, half of the enemies just fucking stop for a second. I said time out. Come Mine. on. Guys. Guys, we used to work together. Guys. Mine. And also, of course, the elite riot troopers can still just randomly stun people with their fucking laser swords. Now, if I had a, some slightly more leveled up materia, uh, I could use a different really good build for Barrett here, which is the Suicide Bomber one, where he's constantly blowing himself up. Uh, and the, the suicide, the uh, self-destruct move, because it does damage to yourself, it charges up your limit break gauge. So you can constantly blow yourself up until you get limit breaks. <laughs> Come on, we need to move. Well, I didn't quite see what happened in the <laughs> explosion, but it worked. All right. I wish if you used that limit break here, you got like a special cutscene, just like the side of the Shinra building just blowing up. Just <laughs> a huge hole just getting punched through a wall. I would like a uh, uh, melee arm specific limit break that turns it into a drill. I just want to see it like rev up. Oh, yeah. Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. that make the most sense. And where is that? This looks like a mall, so let's try to find the directory. <laughs> Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. She's in Sears. If you hit JC Penny, you went too far. <laughs> this building's incredible. Huh. A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days, I'm gonna tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big open space is where they, they put the Christmas tree every year. Yeah. I bet Shinra Santa sucks. Oh, he's I bet terrible. that is the worst Santa. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life hard. Huh? Let's just keep heading up. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Barrett's in his 30s. His knees aren't what they used to be. Yeah. Let's just ride this motorcycle up. Hell yeah. This looks like something you could just drive straight up a wall, anime style. Like, I'm, Roche could. No yeah, Roche. What motorcycle. <laughs> Roche absolutely could. We need some pointers from him. Where's he at? Is he in this building right now? Is he on his lunch break? Don't shake your head no at me. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? This is a Zelda dungeon. You Look, have made a Zelda dungeon. Yep. I'm pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think 
I'll give it a shot. Huh? I think you could jump straight into the hole. I think you're, I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <laughs> Save your jump points for later, Cloud. <laughs> we might have to jump from the top of this building. <laughs> okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? <laughs> I like, uh... Like, how do you make a corporate office building into a dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that they had to do that. I mean, something with key cards, clearly. It's gotta be key cards. Uh, Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! Are you okay? <sighs> I thought I was dead for sure. <sighs> Why did you jump between them, Tifa? <laughs> Why did you do that? When you come to a fork in the road, take it, Tifa! <laughs> Alright, time to hijack Daddy's truck. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got a. Just like in the original, we got like a vehicle showroom in the. Mm -hmm. in the, the, mm -hmm. the first floor here. Also, a tr model train showroom? Ooh, look at that! I know some kids who would be so excited right now. Oh, man. Hope they made it out. Hope they didn't get crushed. Oh yeah, those kids too. <laughs> Cloud's very confused right now, and Barrett's like, "Yeah, Tifa always wanted to come here. We just never, we just never made it. <laughs> Thought the heat might be too much. She's she's just sightseeing. It's fine. Yeah." Yeah, easy to miss, but for some reason there's just 2,000 bucks in a chest <laughs> in the showroom floor. Oh. And a toolkit just sitting out? I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's still it, it, putting the finishing touches and the, all the scaffolding here, I don't know. Yeah, while this game did cut out one kind of platforming-ish section, we get a different new one, because this <laughs> you did not do any of this stuff with Tifa in the original. Um, don't miss this, though. It's another weapon for her. Purple pain. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when Prince gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh... At a later point, we'll, we'll check out the upgrades and actually put that on her and stuff. But for now, it is just time for... Platforming Tifa. Equip that, turn people into raspberry puree. Mmm. Ch change the flavor of the glove with the, the blue flavor materia. So uh, <laughs> all the elements are different flavors. You don't need a, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a new materia for that, but. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. Tifa's uh, hand over hand jungle gym stuff gets its own song. <laughs> Not used anywhere. <laughs> I like it. It's a good song for doing this stuff, but it like the the they put out another soundtrack for this game because they actually didn't fit all the music onto the original release that was already like eight CDs. Mm -hmm. And it was tons of stuff that they wrote only, that was used only in like cutscenes. There were different variations of songs used for specific parts. And that's like another four or five CDs. <laughs> <laughs> to, to play the entire soundtrack for this game takes like almost a full day, I think. It is absurd. I like that Tifa is, you know, adding to our, our list of like characters from games we've LP that would just destroy Ninja Warrior. <laughs> yeah. Like she's up there with Nathan Drake. Oh, yeah. This you know who, so surprisingly, would do a lot worse than you expect? Hmm. Pretty close now. Mario. Just need to make it mm. over there. He'd just jump over all the obstacles and get disqualified. Yeah, yeah. Or he would, like, 
use Cappy to possess a part of the thing and just fling himself across the whole thing. Or yeah, that's illegal. Like that. That's yeah. specifically in the rules. There's no, like, air dog exemption. You know, air dog, the movie about the, the dog that plays basketball. Yeah. Air dog. Air dog. Just need to get across those platforms. <laughs> oh, my God. Are there Air Bud style movies but with stamp? <laughs> All of them are stamped going to war. That's why he's dressed like that. It's Ain't just no stamped joining different branches of the military. Ain't no rules that say a dog can't play blitzball. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no rules say a dog can't call in an airstrike. Come on. <laughs> Look, if a dog can use a touch screen, it can call in an airstrike. Mm -hmm. a, a different minigame they could have done here that I would have liked is, uh, you know how back when we were in the Shinra Underground Lab, Barrett just, like, s threw Tifa? Yes! I want yes. that. I want to, uh, like, I want, like, a, 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 oh, what was that guy's name? The guy that throws Mario in Mario Sunshine. It's that, but with Barrett and uh, Tifa. Chuck yeah, uh, yeah, Chuck yeah. <laughs> That's some fine work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl! But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. Maybe the floor is a you pressure plate, like it's like a failsafe. <laughs> so they don't so. lock their uh, receptionist in to starve to death. <laughs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is, then. <laughs> right. Hey, Barrett, you're gonna remember you're bad at heights when you get to the 59th floor? <laughs> Yeah, thinking back to that scene, mm -hmm. Baron could have just tossed her up into the hole Baron immediately. Probably, yeah. It, it is a very video game thing of like, there's an invisible wall here, I can't jump over this. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend there's, you know, another Drake up there and go up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, easy to miss, but your, car, your key card can get you to this other vehicle showroom that's got some treasure in it. Hmm. Is the treasure a eight-cylinder, <laughs> uh, five thousand cc engine? Oh yeah, you can just equip the whole motorcycle or, or cars and, and as an accessory. Oh, it's a metal lady. Yeah, yeah, we got the Iron Maiden. It's a new piece of armor. Um, this thing has a hundred and twenty-four physical defense, way more <laughs> than anything else. But the trade-off is it has zero materia slots. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you want the biggest, beefiest anybody, especially Barrett, slap this on him. This is the the equipment with the highest physical defense stat in the entire game. All right, so yeah, like they said, uh, there's two ways to to go up the building here: either the elevator or the stairs. Uh, mm -hmm. This was the same choice that you had in the original game, although they they kind of shifted it forward a bit. Because when I was playing this originally, and they were talking about like, ooh, let's go through the front, and then Cloud's like, no, we'll go through the back, and then you just go through the back. I thought they were getting rid of this choice, and I was very sad because uh -huh. the two different choices were pretty fun in the original. But yeah, we'll take the elevator first, and then we'll check out the stairs afterwards. So pretty. It's real. This part of the game is fucking gorgeous. Going up. Doors closing. So what can we expect further up? <sighs> More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. Huh? Huh? Tenth floor. Oh. Door that's not even... Intruders! <laughs> that's, that's only 10 59ths of the way up. Oh, man. Uh, not a ton of them triggered when I was recording, but Barrett does have some new unique lines he says in battle, <laughs> specifically because he's fighting Shinra dudes. <laughs> 
I like his response to being told to surrender. That, that was a couple fights back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not the same if he's slowly walking while doing it. Yeah. He ran out of poses, I guess. Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? Nah, we took him down quick. Going up. Door closing. Wonder if it'll stop again. People ought to try using the damn stairs sometime. If it happens again, we'll deal with it like before. We got this. Hmm. Well, that didn't take long, did it? 20th floor. Door open. <gasps> that guy should feel lucky you didn't come at him with the sharp part. <laughs> so if you took the elevator in the original game, yeah, the, uh... The elevator would randomly stop at certain floors. Like, in, in the remake, it's just scripted which floors stop and ha have yeah, guys yeah. on it for you to fight. In the original game, it was totally random when it would stop and how far it would go before hitting another floor before another fight came in. And this really fucks with uh, speedruns of this game because <laughs> there is an incredibly super duper rare percentage where you get no fights or only one fight going up the elevator. Going up. Doors closing. Straight on up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mention it. No. 30th floor. <laughs> Door open. Heads up. Could be trouble. <clears throat> Killer. Go. Now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Closing. <sighs> right. Normal people work here too. She probably called for help. 40th floor. Who's it gonna be next? Doors open. <sighs> middle manager, come on, middle manager. Yeah. Oh, I wish. Yeah. We're Damn sure. it. What about you, Mom? You okay? <sighs> Good. That's a relief. <sighs> I don't think he's noticed us. <laughs> Going up. Door closing. No, we haven't heard anything new yet. But they told us that Avalanche could attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, okay? <laughs> yeah, Door about that. Closing. A whole lot of normal people with families and friends work for Shinra. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but it's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. He must recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. I know you know this. I do. Tifa, we need to focus on saving Aerith. I know. I will. 59th floor. Door open. All right. So they, that's the elevator section, but uh, basically anybody who's played this before the, the original game is immediately going to go for the stairs. <laughs> Everyone remembers going up the stairs a lot more than the elevator. Is it because Barrett complains a lot and it's funny? Oh, yeah. Okay. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. These stairs have their own boss theme. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wonder what it's like up there. More security and restrictions. 
It's not gonna get any easier. Is there gonna be like a dizziness warning on this video? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there will be. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. Oh, you're about uh, uh, a sixth of the way there. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! Oh, that's enough from both of you. Snow oh, he's falling behind. Aren't get there faster. <laughs> but Tifa, I wasn't. Not now. Save it for the top. Yes, I love that the uh, health bars in the bottom right track everyone's progress with the floor they're on, and they shift places like it's a fucking racing game. Hey, wait up. And then even Cloud is starting to look fatigued. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Guess these labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep. The very top. That's good to know. Cloud, keep an eye on Barrett. Copy. What was that? I don't think I heard you. Speak up. I'll keep an eye on Barrett. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the assist. <sighs> Whatever. At least there are no dogs trying to eat you. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Uh, a nice touch in this part is the further you go up and the more tired everyone gets, the more messed up the music gets. <laughs> I say it. Wait up! If you, like, stop for a minute, does, do you get back to your normal speed? Uh, no. Ah. Uh, the, the next fight starts with you all with the, the slow condition immediately. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys! Where are you? Hey! Just a few floors behind you! <laughs> oh? <laughs> You're sounding better. <laughs> Think I've got, like... A snack climber's high. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I mean, you're pretty high. That's <laughs> clear. Johnny would have rescued Aerith by now. <laughs> yeah. He's the stealthiest. You can't detect what you can't catch. It's true. You tired? I was. But I'm feeling okay now. What are we waiting for? Let's roll! You really are doing better. We... we gotta keep moving! <laughs> to keep moving! <laughs> He's gonna pass you, dude! He's gonna get you! He's gonna get you! Oh, he's coming around the outside. <laughs> yeah, Barrett always right around here when he starts talking about the stair climbers high gets a speed boost. Uh, so it is impossible to reach the top before Tifa does. She's just too fit. But it is possible to uh, lose to Barrett. <laughs> but tell me. These stairs? Are these stairs ever gonna end? I don't know. Ask the stairs. I don't think the stairs are talking. Well, duh. I mean... Duh. I was joking. That's enough from both of you. He'll turn this car right around, Buster. <laughs> I'll come right back down the stairs. <laughs> yes, a very similar thing in the original. Uh, some of the stuff is almost word for word from the original game, too, but... Worst route ever! Give me a suicidal last day! At least... At least, at least that'd have an end. Let's shut up. Yes, let's. Wow. <laughs> it's just so silly. Mm hmm It's all very silly. Yeah. Because 
wishing for trouble might bring it. Yep. You're in no state to fight anyway. So, what should I do? Shut up and move. Oh, so tired. <laughs> so close. So close! <laughs> <laughs> Super tired. It's okay, you're, you're raising money for, for lung cancer, I think. <laughs> uh, as long as it's for a good cause. He looks so sad. I know, he looks so defeated, like... <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go rescue that nice lady. Yeah. Yeah. Kids wouldn't shut up if I didn't try to save the nice lady. I really want them to think I'm still cool. roll up like a little ball and go bounce, bounce, bounce all the way down. <laughs> there we go, pulling away. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Save it for the home stretch, Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> right at the end. So barely pull ahead. That's strategy is what we call that. Another day, another struggle. Climbing stairs, so much trouble. Is that supposed to rhyme? You doing slant rhymes at me now, Barrett? <laughs> you slant rhyming down there, Barrett? <laughs> Cloud, slow down. Cloud, slow down. <laughs> Hey, you all leveled up. Good job. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Level levels all around. And... Did you forget to stretch? Is that it? Y'all forgot to stretch. Oh yeah. Made it. The real challenge starts now. Okay, let's go. So it seems that's 70, materia. 80, hmm. 90, 100%. 110. Mako it's been quite a while, but we've seen this lady before. Yes, yes. <laughs> she was on we TV. We have seen that outfit before. Uh huh. Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. Either that guy loves or hates his job. <laughs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mako density and material Still not clear. Are both <laughs> holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. I think that guy is the camera guy who got knocked over by her, and he decided, I gotta switch careers! <laughs> I gotta give me some more of this. Now, show me something truly exquisite. The fat chocobos are becoming too fat! We can't contain them! <laughs> Wow, that necklace must be really important, the way the camera is emphasizing it. Outpacing models! Registering crystallization within the reserve tanks! The reaction is out of control! We have to stop it quickly! Clean up the mess, would you? Man. Oh yeah, he loves his job. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> yep. uh-huh. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. And, uh, hey, aside from Aerith's place, the first view of actual real-life plants. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, dude, you might want to, uh, take Please, off work early today. My wife and daughter be safe. Cause we're about to have 40 fights in here. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <laughs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. You know, because this part is only focusing on on the first chunk of the original game, uh, the additional focus on a lot of this stuff really makes Barrett almost feel like the main character for this first part. Yeah, yeah. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession. Is this a, a guided to listening tour? tour? Mm hmm. Am I going to have Steve Buscemi in my ear telling me what's what? <laughs> Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. <laughs> the camera focusing on his big <laughs> scissor hand. <laughs> snip, snip. Man, why we gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? You this live in a video you. game. <laughs> How did you expect? You live in a video game. Man himself. Just be glad you don't have to plug in weird shaped emblems to something. <laughs> yeah. You're not mixing fluids to to like get the pressure plate just right. Yeah, this is this is the the Metal Gear form of gating and not Resident Evil, be thankful. It's just key cards. Yeah. You guys seen any avalanche terrorists lately? Mm. My, uh, my main reason for believing that people don't freak out when they see these people walking along is because there's one guy who just looks like a normal Shinra soldier. <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> escorting these weird guests. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And it's not like Bear's the only guy with a gun arm, apparently, because he can buy gun arms. <laughs> yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling this dude what is just playing SimCity so hard. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. <laughs> it's just sir, a big sheet of paper that says 100%. <laughs> no, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Wait a minute. <gasps> inside of this room is also outside of this room. Ah! Uh. I'm surprised that Colonel Sanders is in the pizza game. <laughs> so uh, there's extra dialogue during the stair climbing segment. So basically, you can trigger new dialogue on the 20th, 30th, 40th, and 50th floor if when you reach there, you go backwards. <laughs> you go down five floors, you, you, you'll get some extra dialogue from that.
I've found very few videos online showing this stuff off, so... <laughs> I don't think most people know about who this. who would do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What madness possessed you? Mm-hmm. Getting thinner, hot free. <laughs> We're still climbing into space. Seems the same to me. You're... <laughs> What's up? Out of breath and out of space makes me space out. <laughs> hey. What? I can't even make a joke now? Man, you take being a buzzkill to new heights. <laughs> heights. <laughs> Save your breath, Barrett. Just, just take a break. Just, just climb. Come on. Do a flex. Never mind. You knew Tifa's folks, right? Back to talking? It's just the only thing Tifa tells me is they're dead. If you want to know more, ask her yourself. Yeah, okay. I get it. Not your place. I respect that. So you respect the buzzkill? Huh? Now, are, are these, like, locked to position? Like, you always get that one going from 30 down to 25, or are they in order? Yeah, they're, they're always locked to that like, position. Okay. Yep. So if the first time you turn around is at floor 40, you don't get that, that first one about spacing out. Right. Still not there yet. <sighs> so this took about as long to, to oh record all these as getting this took forever. all three dresses. This took forever. Sure about that? It's called being an optimist. Yeah, the, these final two, getting these final two took for fucking ever. Especially this one. Oh my god, it takes so long to go down <laughs> five stairs and then back up. Uh, and everyone gets so tired that each one of these gets shorter and shorter. Okay. Okay, it's me. If only. 